Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Steam Code. Today I'll be showing you how to make a counter in HTML. Here's the finished product and here's what it does. So you can press the add button. It increases the counter, press subtract, and it decreases the counter. So let's get started. So first let's make our first three files. So index.html app.js and main.css So let's go into our index.html file and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say doc type html then inside of our head we're going to create the title so title and this will just be called counter And then next, we're going to need to reference our style sheet, our CSS style sheet. So link rel equals style sheet href equals main.css. And then next, we're going to need to reference jQuery, which is just a library for JavaScript. So we're going to need their CDN. So just search up jQuery CDN. Go to a website. You can just copy and paste it. And then next we're going to need to reference our JavaScript file. So source equals app.js. All right. So that's all we need for the head. So now let's move on to the body, and this is where the actual elements are going to be taking place. So inside of the body, we're going to have a div, and this div will be called container, or it'll be part of the class container. And then inside of this div, we're going to have an h2, which is just a header. This will have the text counter. We're going to have an h1. This will be our number. So id equals number. And we'll start it out at 0. And then we're going to have two buttons. So button 1 will be called subtract. button 2 will be called add. Alright, so let's see how this looks so far. So reveal and file explorer, open it up, and this is how it looks like so far. It does not look too good, but we're gonna style it up in our CSS file. So this, so this is all we need for the HTML file. So now let's go into CSS and let's get to work. So first we're going to style the container. So dot container to reference the container class. And we'll set the margin to auto, the width to 30%, the border and the border to three pixels solid black. Let's see how this looks so far. All right, it looks better, but still not good. So now let's set the padding to 10 pixels. We're gonna align all the text inside of it to the center. So text align center. And we're gonna set the border radius and the border radius is just the is just the radius at the border so it'll make the the edges of this rectangle curved. We'll set that to 20 pixels. All right, that looks much better. So now we need to style up the buttons. So we can just say button background color. We'll set that to 
I chose a custom color. You guys can choose whatever co color you want. And this is the hash code for it. So E4685D. Uh, the border radius will be set to four pixels. You guys can customize this however you want. I'm just showing you the basic outline. We'll set the border to one pixel, solid black. Actually, let's set that to solid white. Um, we'll set the display to inline block. And we'll set the cursor to 0.0. .0. Pointer and basically what this does is it makes it so that whenever you hover over the block your cursor changes to a pointer instead of the standard cursor. We'll set the color of the text to white. We'll set the font family to Arial. We'll change the font size to 30 pixels. And we'll make the padding, and this is just the space around the actual buttons. We'll set that to 6 pixels and 15 pixels. And the text shadow will be set to 0 pixels one pixel, zero pixels. And the color of that shadow will be another custom color I chose, so B23, E35. You guys can choose whatever you want. And basically what this text shadow is, is it creates a little shadow around the words. It's, it's hardly noticeable, but it still makes a difference in how the actual thing looks. And that's all we need for the button. So now we're gonna change the number a little bit. So, hash number. The font family will make this Courier New. Let's just click that. The font size will make that 80 pixels. The color, you can change this to whatever you want, but I'm choosing gray. And the padding at the bottom will be set to 15 pixels. All right, let's see how this looks. All right, it looks much better. So lastly, we need to just change the actual text that says counter so let's put h2 because that's the tag we use in the html file so h2 the font family we'll set that to courier new as well and the font size Let's set that to 68 pixels. All right, perfect. So this is all the styling that we need to do for right now. So now let's hop into the app.js file and let's get to work. Actually making this thing work. Because currently, if you click on the buttons, nothing happens. So we need to change that in app.js. So we're gonna be using some job jQuery. So dollar sign document dot ready function so basically what this says is when the document is finished loading then execute this function and we're gonna put stuff inside of here so let's say hash subtract dot click 
function. Okay, so what this does is it gets the subtract, it, it gets the element with the ID of subtract. And if you go back to here, you can see we set the ID to subtract of this button. So it gets that element and then it says whenever someone clicks on that element, then execute this function. So inside of this function, we're going to say var number is equal to parse int and then we'll say number dot html and what this does is it turns the number it, it turns the html of this element right here that has the id of number and it turns that into an integer because currently it's a string and so the parse int turns that into an integer and then we're going to say down here number dot html is equal to number minus one so this basically gets the number, it sets the HTML to number minus one. So let's see how well this works so far. So if we click on subtract, it subtracts the number by one. If we click on add, nothing happens because we haven't added that functionality yet. So we can just copy this and change a few variables around. So first let's change this to add because we're getting the element with the ID of add. And let's just change this to plus one. So reload. All right, it works perfectly. So this is the end of our tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please put a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to put them in the comments. This has been Steam Code, and thank you for watching.